Hey guys, this is Theta. I've been asked a lot of things on Smashboards recently, so I wanted to make a tutorial series to deal with all the stuff that people are asking about. Um, it's going to cover basic things in Brawlbox and Smash modding, you know, 3ds Max, basically everything so that you can get the custom experience that you want, and hopefully be able to know how to mod Brawl and Project M to your heart's content. All right, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and cover here is how to combine two models in Brawlbox. And this is basically for if you find a mod and want to take something from it and put it into another mod. It's really easy to do, and there's not much knowledge required, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is find the model you want to take something from. In this case, I have a N64 model of Fierce Deity Link, but he's got that cool custom sword, right? So you would want to put that on this cool custom uh, Fierce Deity Link. Uh, but obviously, you normally you'd be like, oh, I gotta go and open 3ds Max, etc., etc., all that stuff. Uh, you can actually just do it with Brawlbox. It's really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and export the model from this uh, N64 Link to the desktop. Then I'm gonna go ahead and find the texture for the sword right there. Export that to the desktop. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the object settings for later I need that info in a bit. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to right click this and import the object which was the entire N64 link but you can actually just choose a sword uh, out of all the objects here which are part of the, mo part of the model. I already uh, knew which one the sword was going to be so you basically just have to look through. If you do want to combine the entire model uh, you can click merge both models and it will add the entire thing but I just need the sword. So if I click off and on you can see the swords added there um, it's all hunky dory, etc. You know, I can go ahead and import the texture now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to texture and figure steady. And that was RGB 5A3 in the original model. Uh, you see right here it says RGB 5A3. Um, so I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete the old sword because we don't need that anymore. Um, first, though you need to look at the visibility bone here and make sure that this visibility bone matches with the one inside of uh, the old model. So see here, this sword is visibility bone Ken M, which means it's hidden when the sword is not being held by Link's hand. I'm going to find Ken M. And so now that that's set, I can go ahead and delete the old sword, which is his sword hand, sword hand, sword hand, so it's these three things. Delete this, delete this, delete that. So now you can see he's got the sword, it's all good, but if you preview it now, and I'm going to open up some animations from Link, you can uh, find these inside of the game files. If you have Project M, just look in the characters folder, it should say uh, motion, etc. So Project M works, rigs, Link, I have the animation saved separately. So in here, I have all his animations. And if I click delete one, oh no, the sword's not being held by him, right? Big issue, not really. Um, it's actually just not updated yet, you just have to save the file and then reopen it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as fitlink0 to the desktop. So I'm going to open up the uh, fitlink0, open up his model. And if I preview it and open up the animations again, link, you can see now that if I click on an animation, it will animate correctly. And that's all you have to do match the visibility bone, add the model, and then add the texture. And the materials and shaders are already actually added. They're, that's automatic. So, yeah, that's all there is to uh, combining models in Brawlbox. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. And I hope you guys like this one. I'm trying to start off easily, um, make it simple, and then get more complex as time goes. So, uh, that's all that I have. I'll see you next video. All right.